It started as a bit of a nerdy personal project for Vancouver communications consultant Diamond Isinger, but it didn't take her long to find enough nasty material in cyberspace to launch a blog called Madam Premier, looking at the sexist criticism facing Canada's female premiers. I expected to see a few examples and um, I quickly realized as, my, as the folder on my computer full of examples grew exponentially that there was a shocking um, amount of nasty sexism towards women across the country. I that guys and lesbians, lesbians most want to have sex with. Proof the blog was launched two days ago with several pages of tweets, Facebook posts and online comments, some of them even violent. He gives Marwa a month before someone with better aim comes forth and does what must be done after the attempted shooting right. on her election night um, party. Posters who have targeted Alberta's Premier Alison Redford and newly elected Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne are also outed on Isinger's website. And female politicians on all sides and at all levels are welcoming the spotlight. I think it's a good discussion for us to have. Not because of me or because of Alison or because of Catherine. It's a good discussion to have because of all the thousands of women who experience things like that every single day. We ask you about the latest polls. What's your reaction? You can, but I BC's raucous political arena has had more than its fair share of sexism. In October 2011, former NDP MLA David Shrek posted a tweet saying Christy Clark was showing too much cleavage. And several high-profile women have been very public in their discussions about the nasty side of politics. Personal attacks have to go, and I don't believe we're going to engage the public in voting in our democracy unless we start ending the kind of nasty attacks in whatever form they come in. And it appears Isinger's blog is engaging the public. She has had thousands of hits already and dozens of mostly positive comments from right across the country. So the political strategist is hoping this will launch dialogue and force people to come up with answers to some tough questions. We could look at just the comments themselves and say, wow, these people are, are real jerks, which they are, and, and they're completely inappropriate. But also, the more interesting question is what is it about our society right now that lets people feel like it's okay to be saying that and what also lets them get away with saying it without having their, their wives, their children, their aunts, whoever else, send them a message and say, hey, I saw that, that's really not cool that right. you would say that about a female premier.